Hello friends, welcome to Hongo theme video tutorials. In this video I will show you how to use any ready footer, or build your custom footer using Hongo section builder, and use it in your website. If you have imported any Hongo demo, then all section builder items must be available here, WordPress dashboard, section builder, all sections. But if you have not imported any demo yet, then you can go to WordPress dashboard, appearance, theme setup, import demo, and here click individual import button under the demo which you want to use. Under section builder, tick mark select all checkbox, and click import selected items button to import ready headers, mini headers, footers, mega menus, etc. Now go back to section builder, select footer in this drop down, and click filter button to view all ready footers. You can edit your desired footer, or create a new footer using WP Bakery page builder same way like you create, or edit a page. Let me create a new section. Add footer title here, test footer. At bottom under Hongo section builder settings, you can do various settings for this footer. Let me define section type which is footer in my case. Then sticky type. Here I can select my footer sticky behavior, either sticky or non-sticky. Then I can do color, and size related settings for my footer. Widget title color, and size. Content color, and size. Newsletter block text color, and size. Now go back to top, and switch to WP Bakery backend editing mode. Please note that you cannot use frontend editor and preview the footer as this is not an actual page or post. Now click add element button, and in the pop-up it will display the short codes which can be used to build your footer. Let me add a row with three columns. Now add a single image in first column, and upload the logo image. In second column add navigation links short code. Switch on horizontal link option. Under links tab add links one by one. In third column add social icons, select desired style, and enter social media profile URLs. For now I am adding hash only for testing purpose. Add another row. And inside this row add a text block for copyright text message. Publish this test footer. Now I need to assign this footer in customize panel to make it visible in my website. So let me go to appearance, customize, header and footer. Footer. Under Footer section. Let me select Test Footer. I can see my Test Footer here but it is not styled properly. Let me go back to Test Footer. First of all let me make my row full width by editing row shortcode, and select Stretch Row and Content. Under Design Options tab let me add top and bottom padding of 10 pixels. Edit this column. Style tab and center align the content of this column. Edit this column, style tab and right align the content of this column. Edit second row, and under design options tab add top and bottom padding of 10 pixels. Now go back to customize panel, switch off the footer and switch on it again to have the updated footer visible. So my test footer is visible now as per the footer setup I have done. Footer settings can be done differently for standard pages, post single, post archive, default posts or blog home, product single and product archive or shop page. In each section you can either switch on general footer to take over all footer settings done here in general section or switch off general footer to do different settings for that specific section. As an example post single have general footer switched on, and hence it is showing test footer but let me switch off general footer, and let me select landing footer and
now it is showing the assigned landing footer and post page. So this is how footer can be created in Hongo Section Builder and assigned to your website pages. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any other queries then please feel free to contact us via our support system. Thank you for watching.